almost any modern web app will need the ability to send email. Whether verifying users or sending confirmation messages, email capability is crucial. In this video, we'll show you how you can send emails from your Node.js and React application. Let's get into it. So the first thing I want you to do is come over to mailtrap.io right up here and sign up for an account. Now, this is going to be used to uh, simulate our uh, email inbox. So once we have this, um, then we can eventually transfer it over to something like SendGrid and just basically switch these credentials over. So come over to here because um, we'll be testing with this and sign up for an account. And then once you're there, come into your inboxes and you're going to see here it says uh, show credentials. All right. So click that. And I'm going to uh, blank this out here, but uh, the things that you're going to need here are uh, your host here, uh, the port, the username, and your password. So make sure you have um, these things here, and we're going to be using those as our environmental variables. All right, so once you have those, we can uh, start coding this up. Let's get it going. All right, so I have my uh, folders over here. I have a front end and a server here. Um, my front end is just basically a create React app with uh, nothing in it yet. And uh, my server folder, I just ran npm init to get a package.json. Let's start off by adding a few different dependencies that we're going to be using. So let's come down to the bottom here. I'll bring this up a little bit and we're going to go npm install and we are going to go body dash parser. We are going to go cores. We are going to go dot env for envi uh, dot env rather. For our environmental variables, we're going to go express, which we're going to be using, and we are going to go node mailer. And that's what we're going to be using to actually send the emails off. So let's um, install these. Then that's good. So let's come over here and I'm going to CD in to my uh, front end here. And I think the only thing we need in the front end is we're going to use Axios to make our request here. So let's go, uh, we'll go yarn, yarn add, and we will say Axios. All right, so that is looking good. So let's uh, start coding this up. We can actually close this out for now. And we're gonna start in our server right here. So I want you to come in to our server folder and we're gonna create two files here. So new file and we're just gonna have a dot env here. And that's where we're gonna store our environmental variables, which we got from MailTrap. And then we're gonna go and create one more file here and it's just gonna be an index.js. All right, so in our .env here, I'm just gonna paste in um, my values from the mail trap. So um, come in and uh, add these to your .env. And then the mail from, this is just gonna be whatever you wanna send the mail from. So uh, whatever email you want the mail to come from. For us, that's darwinattest.com. And then your mail host is, uh, I'm not gonna show you these values, but um, yeah, basically these are the different values from your mail trap. So go ahead and add those from the credentials in the mail trap. Um, so once that's good, we can go ahead and save that and we can get rid of this uh, .env for now. And then let's come over and let's start uh, coding up the back end where we're actually gonna send the mail from. So the first thing we wanna do is uh, bring in a bunch of stuff. Okay, so this is what we're working with right now. So we're bringing the express, uh, we're creating express right here um, and calling it app. And then we're bringing in our .env um, so we can use our environmental variables. We're bringing in body parser, cores, and node mailer. So that's basically everything that we installed. We wanna bring it down here. All right, so let's start this off. Uh, first, we're gonna use a uh, body parser and add that. So let's do that right now. Okay, so that's good. Now let's go app.use and we'll add cores here. And call that, that's good. Now, we're gonna have basically just one route and that's gonna be a post route. So, and that's gonna be uh, for our sending of our mail. So let's uh, first though, before we add that, let's just get our server up and running. So we're gonna go app.listen and we will go, uh, process.env.pass dot dot 
port in case we add a port later. I don't actually think we'll do this, so we'll just go or uh, 4,000. So basically, it's going to look and see if we have a port variable, which I don't think we're going to add, but you can add later if you want. And otherwise, it'll just run on port 4000. Okay. Then we'll do an arrow function here. And then we'll just go console.log to show that we're running on a uh, certain port. For us, that's going to be uh, server is listening on port. And for us, that's 4000. Boom. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, save this. And now what we want to do is basically add the only route that we're going to need. So that's going to be our post route. So let's come up below our cores here. Come down here and we'll go app.post. And our post name is going to be slash send uh, underscore mail will go just like that and then we'll add cores here I don't even know if we're gonna need cores but uh, just in case and we'll go call an async function here and we're gonna get the request and the response and we'll have an arrow function and then we're gonna get the text that we're gonna pass in so the text will be what we're passing in from our react app and what we want to add to the email so let's go let uh, text and that's going to equal uh, rec dot body. Okay. And then below this, we're going to go uh, const and we're going to call it transport. Okay. And that's going to be equal to node mailer. And that's dot create transport. And this is a function from node mailer that's going to uh, allow us to send the email. And then in here, we're going to pass in an object here. And here we're going to pass in the different values that we added that to our uh, .env and that come from our mail trap or our send grid or whatever we're using. So for us, we're going to need a host and we're going to go process .env dot uh, it's gonna be called uh, mail host okay and then a port same thing dot env dot uh, mail port it's called in our dot env and then below this we're gonna pass in the authorization so this is gonna be auth and it's going to be an object and we're going to have a user and that's going to be process dot env dot uh, mail underscore user nice and then we're going to have the password so pass and then we're going to say process uh, dot env dot uh, mail underscore pass all right so this is all that we need for uh, this create transport right here and again, all these values coming from your .env and coming from your SMTP uh, right here. All right, so that's looking pretty good right there. Now we wanna come down below, come in here and give ourselves a little room here. And now we actually wanna be able to send the uh, mail. So we're gonna go like this and say await because we have an async function we'll say transport dot send mail just like that so we're gonna pass in a few things here so we're gonna say who it's from so from and from us we're gonna say process dot uh, env and we added that remember dot mail from to our dot env so that's why we needed that and then we're gonna have our two and for us, um, so in a real app, you might want to pass in who it's to. But for us right now, we're just going to say uh, test at test.com. And then uh, the subject, we're just going to say uh, what? Now nah, we'll just say test email. Okay. And then finally, you have an HTML. So this is the HTML that you actually want to pass in as the uh, text of the uh, and structure of the email. 
So I'm just gonna paste some stuff in here, but it's gonna be started with backticks, and then you can pass in what kind of whatever kind of HTML uh, inline styles, whatever you want to add to here. So let's just paste this in here. Okay, so it starts with backticks, and we're gonna have a div with a class name email and all this different uh, styling right here. But that is not really um, that necessary. And then uh, we want it to be somewhat dynamic, so we're gonna pass in the text right here also that we wanna add. So on the front end, we're gonna allow users to pass in some text, and then it will be passed through to here, and then we'll add it to the uh, email. So that is basically all we need to do in our index.js. Let's go ahead and save that. Okay, and uh, now let's move on to the uh, front end. All right, so in our front end here, we want to come into our SRC and we're just going to do all our work in our app.js. So let's come and start by getting rid of all this, uh, the header and everything here, and we'll just leave this right here. Okay, and we can get rid of this logo up here too. All right, so that looks good. Now we're going to want to bring in a few things here. So the first thing we're going to want to do here is we're going to import uh, Axios. So let's go import Axios, and that's going to be from uh, Axios, just like that. And then below this, we're going to need to uh, add some state. So we're going to go import uh, React, and we'll say use state, just like that. And then that is going to be from uh, React here. Okay, and I think that's all we need to bring in. So that is very good right there. Now, let's come down and start uh, coding this up a little bit. So come down below here and let's actually implement the state. So the first thing we're gonna have is we're gonna go const and we'll go sent just to show when it, the uh, actual email has been sent. So set sent, just like that. And then we're gonna go equal use state. And then we will say it's gonna start off as false. And once we send that email, we're gonna set that to uh, true. Then we're gonna go const and we will go text. And this is gonna be the text that we're passing along to our backend. And that's gonna be set text. And then that's gonna be equal to use state. And that's just gonna be an empty string to start off. Okay. Now, we want to actually um, create our function here that's going to handle uh, the sending of the email. So let's come up here and we're going to go const and we'll say handle send. And that's going to be equal to an async function. And we will pass in uh, uh, an arrow function here. And in here, we're gonna go uh, and set the sent to true. So let's go set sent to true to show that we sent the email here. And then we're gonna have a try catch. So try uh, catch here, just like this. And in our try block, we are gonna go and actually use Axios to make a request. So let's go uh, await and we'll go axios.post. It's a post request here. And we want to pass in our string here. So this is the string uh, request to send mail, which if we look in our back end again, just to be clear, that is what we're hitting right here. All right, so we're going to send mail just like this, and then we're going to have an object here, and we're going to pass in the text. So we'll go text, text, but we don't need to do that. We can just destructure it and go text itself. Okay, so that is good. And then in our catch here, we have an error. And then below here, we're just gonna console.log the error if uh, it arises. All right, and that is our entire uh, handle send function. So now we want someone to actually call this. So let's come in here and let's create a form. So come into our uh, app here and we'll go form and we will go uh, on submit. And that is going to be equal to handle send, which we just created above, just like this. And then inside of our form here, we're going to have an input. And it's going to be of type text. The value is going to be text. Close those off. And then we're going to have an on change here. And then we'll pass in some stuff to this object. So let's go like this. Uh, we'll pass the event in here. And then we will go set text, 
just like this, and we will say e.target.value. And that's how we're gonna set uh, the text that we wanna pass in through our input to our uh, state. So that is all looking pretty good right there. And then let's give ourselves a little room here and uh, actually below this here. And then we're just gonna add a button here. So let's go uh, button just like this. And we will say uh, what type is gonna be equal to submit. Okay, and close that off. And then inside here, we'll just say send email. Okay, so that is looking good. Now, the last thing we want to do is we want to actually add a ternary here to show when the email has been sent. So let's come up below here and come in here and open up some braces. And we'll say if it's not sent, so if you haven't sent the email, and we will go like this and bring this down below. So if it's not sent, we'll show this form. And then once it is sent, so the other side of the ternary here, we will just say, we'll give an H1 and we'll just say uh, email sent, email sent like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this. Now, I think that's all we need. Let's come and check this out. Let's come over to our um, front end right here and we'll just say yarn start. Okay, so let's test this out. Let's just go testing email. And when we press send, this hopefully should send our email. And it says our email sent, but let's check this out. So here is our test email. It came in. Here's your email, testing email. All the best, Darwin. So that looks like it's working. Uh, one little tip, you might have to restart your uh, server on the back end before you do this if it does not work. Otherwise, uh, everything should be good. All right, so this is great for development, but in production, we're gonna have to actually switch to another service. So there's a few, uh, sendgrid.com is one of them, um, but there's a bunch of different ones like this. So this is by Twilio. Um, so you can sign up for a plan like this. So with something like this though, it's super easy just to switch it over. So again, in our app, we just have our uh, env file so basically you're just going to switch over all of these different values right here so that is super simple um, to get it going in production if you are interested in doing that all right so i think that's it uh, for this video hopefully that helps you sending emails from your uh, web applications and uh, until the next one thanks for watching